y'all, I'm Angie. Welcome to my channel where I do stuff. If you're new here, thank you for joining me today. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. I would like to thank each and every one of y'all for helping the channel reach 200 subscribers. Um, it blows my mind that even 200 people care about anything I have to present or show or talk about. So it means a lot to me that y'all are here. Uh, I also recently just hit my one year anniversary with YouTube. That was about three weeks ago. Um, so thank you to everyone who is helping me succeed and reach my goals. I really appreciate it. My goal is to make content that I would want to watch myself. So I hope that you find it entertaining or at least informative. And I thank you so much for being here. Um, it means a lot to me that I have such a wonderful group of people to hang out with me every week and experience the growth of this channel from the beginning. So thank you again for being here. And um, you know, if you're new here and you enjoy what you see and uh, you see other videos that you like as well, I hope you'd consider subscribing because I would love to have you with me on the journey on the rest of the way up. With all of that being said, <laughs> uh, in today's video, I am going to be making over some of my mother's yard ornaments. My dad recently got a new fence put in and he took down all of my mother's decorations and I brought them back here to my house and I am gonna be redoing them. So let's get started. So these are all of my mom's fence ornaments and she's got several different kinds as you can see. So let's get these out and see what kind of mess we've got here. Um, there's a story behind the metal geckos, but we can talk about that later. Um, so the first one is a beautiful uh, plaster floral medallion and it's super heavy. Um, my mom loved it. I love it. And you can see it's got um, a little bit of moss growing on it and I'm not going to do anything with this one um, so we'll just set it aside. I was with her when she bought it. And this is one of our first metal geckos. These are uh, kind of dirty and it's got bugs and stuff in it. Um, they are hand painted, hand assembled. Um, pretty sure they were done in Mexico but that's not where my mom and my dad bought them. Um, but yeah, every time they went to Port Aransas, they would buy another gecko. Um, just nasty behind them. But, you know, they've, there are bugs and eggs and all kinds of grossness back there. Um, but they're all hand painted a little differently. Some need a little more help than others. This one, his entire face is rusted off. <laughs> uh, but I love the color on it. This poor guy, his face is rusting off too. Love the colors on him as well. And his legs have been bent into a kind of a cool shape. And it looks like mom repainted this one at some point. Yeah, 2019, right before she got sick. This one has problems. This one has such problems. He's missing a bulgy eyeball. So I'm gonna have to do something to fix that. Uh, don't know what I'm gonna do about it just yet but like all the rest it's got bugs and weird nests stuck in the indentions and the last one is this little guy he's got some rust too but and bugs <laughs> but we'll see what we can do about it editing magic <laughs> um, this is a metal and like cast resin butterfly. Mom has already repainted this, um, probably with paint pens, and it's got a lot of rust. I'm not sure what's going on with the center of the body. It reminds me of a Georgia O'Keeffe something, um, but it's it's got cute little antennas, and we're gonna have to fix it too. I got these outdoor acrylic paints from Amazon. They are highly suspect. <laughs> um, oh, look, it came with free ainting brushes? Ainting brushes. Okay, lots of styles, that's good. 
Just opening the box, it smells so bad in there, but it's a lot of paint for the price I paid. These are supposed to be pretty light fast, which is the reason I got them in the first place, but I guess we'll see. So the first thing I have to do, obviously, is get all the bugs off, try to get some rust off, and get most of the paint chips off. Um, I know I'm not doing this the quote proper way. I am not removing all the rust. I'm not doing all that. I don't have any rust remover. I don't have any rust preventative. Um, Rust-Oleum just keeps it from spreading through your new coat of paint. Um, it won't kill the rust, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, so maybe I'll be doing this again in three years. I don't know. But um, yeah, so don't come at me. I know I'm not remediating the rust, but it'll be fine, I promise. I have picked our first victim, and his name is Cyrus. I decided to name him after the man who owned the majority of the Blackjack Peninsula back in the early 1900s, and um, yeah, he ran cattle there, so Cyrus. And I decided that for Cyrus, I was going to keep the paint pretty close to the original color. Um, I'm not ready to start getting overly creative just yet. Mixing paint with ceramic tools because I lost my palette knife. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat is the coverage is not fantastic with this, even though I mixed white in with it. And that's okay, it's just going to require multiple layers. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I got too enthusiastic because I splashed. I have plenty of physical things to remind me of my mother, but she loved her garden so much and she took so much pride in it. And she handpicked these items to go in her, in her yard. So um, it makes me happy that I can kind of fix them up and then put them in my own completely barren and boring yard in this rental. And every time I open the door or look out the window, I'll be reminded of her passion and skill for gardening. Here I'm just going in and doing some of the little dark green details on his face and legs and end of his tail. Next is the dark red for his toenails and spots. So as expected, the yellow does not have fantastic coverage and I'm having to really lay it on thick to cover up the rust spots, but it was to be expected. Three coats of yellow later, I decided to go in with my Liquitex Basics um, Titanium White Acrylic for the eyeballs. And since I was covering up a lot of rust, I put it on really thick. I made sure to get under the edges of the other paint that might have been peeling up so that it would kind of seal it all in. So yeah, I ended up putting several coats on too, even with this heavier bodied acrylic but um, I think it'll pay off in the end. So then I gave him some pretty cerulean blue irises, put in some pupils, popped on some highlights, and the painting was done. So then I sprayed some clear Krylon Color Max on Cyrus in my disgustingly messy garage and allowed him to dry. And I present to you Cyrus on the fence. So I do plan on finishing the other lizards and the butterfly at some point. And I also have some rock hounding content coming out from another state. So you will want to stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully you will follow me on my socials because uh, video notifications through that is more reliable than the YouTube notification system. Um, that is all I've got for y'all today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, perhaps you'll consider subscribing because I would love to see you back here next week when I do more stuff.
Bye.